Howdy, Tenno. This is 10 Warframe tips and tricks that you should be doing every single day. A little disclaimer, some of these might actually be a little hard to complete as a beginner. All of these are personal preference. At the end of the day, you play how you want. This is going to be a shorter version. If you want to see the longer, more detailed version with a lot of me rambling, click the card above or check the description. If you're not capable of completing some of these yet, just use this as like a roadmap. All right, the first thing and probably one of the biggest things that you should be doing every single day anything that has a daily cap as in syndicates open worlds your focus etc anything in the game that has a daily cap you want to try to max that daily cap out every single day you don't have to it is not necessary to max out every single one of them in the game because there are tons at this point. But if you want to proceed further and faster, I would recommend doing your daily cap every single day. What you want to do is max out your daily standing for that whole day. And then you want to go to your navigation, go over to syndicates and complete all six of them. You might have more depending on how many syndicates that you are positive with. You want to complete as many as you can after you already completed your daily cap because it won't count towards your daily cap. This basically overrides your daily cap. Do your daily cap and then focus on these missions after. Another huge thing you need to do in these missions is bring a frame or a companion so that you can see using thief's wit you definitely want to be able to see the items on the map on average these missions have about eight different medallions that are scattered across the whole map after you're finished if you don't know how to get to where to turn your medallions in click on one of the syndicates that you are looking to trade in the medallions with at the very bottom right you will see a button under your daily standing. It'll say, visit whatever your chosen syndicate is. For instance, mine says visit New Loka. It will put you into a relay and also put you right where you need to be to turn your medallions in. For example, I'll do it here. Pretty much every single syndicate will be the same. You don't want to talk to the main person. That's gonna be the same thing as you looking in your orbiter. You want to turn around, go right to your back right, I don't have any, but you can see how good they are. Trust me, look for these and turn these in. And on that note, on to number two. And thank you, Shupas, for the research drop chance. Okay, number two. As soon as you log in, check your foundry. For instance, I finally have Ildrin. Again, if you haven't seen my other videos, yes, I'm, I'm legendary too. And I just finally got regular Hildren. I'm lazy sometimes, okay? Every single day, as soon as you log in, open up your foundry, make sure there's nothing that you need to claim and start building again. For instance, the biggest one is formas. Try to build a forma every single day if you have a blueprint. There is a good bit of other ones that you should be looking at every day too, like Orican Reactor, Orican Catalyst, Fieldrons, Dead Knight Injectors, Mutant Gym Mass, and whatever else you're building like for instance i like to stockpile on dragon keys i will also recommend right before you're logging off to check again you never know an item that you really need might be finished and you don't get a chance to build another one for the next day check at the end of the day and the beginning of the day you can download the warframe companion app and you don't even have to log in to do it you can claim and craft everything in your foundry from your cell phone. I just had to point that out there. Number three, one thing you want to do every single day, put out your extractors. Right now, I have three ready. That's a decent bit of material for you not having to do anything other than clicking a couple buttons and loading in the next day. Easy. As many extractors as you can on the planets that have the resources that you may be looking for. There is a max amount of extractors that you can have out at one time. For normal players, when you're Master Rank 1, you will be able to use only one. Once you hit Master Rank 5, you will be able to put out two. As soon as you get to 10, you can then put out three. There is ways to get one and or two more. If you are a founder, you have an extra one that you can use. But also, if there is prime access, that also gives you an extra. 
So during Prime Access, there are people that can have five of them going at once. Maybe this is just like tip two. Do it when you log in and make sure you check it again when you log out. All right, number four. This could be considered a weekly, but I would actually recommend running about one to five relics every single day. The reason why I say if you run one to five relics every single day, for one, you want form of blueprints. You might get some random items that you actually need. And because you want to save up all the prime gear that you don't need because every two weeks you can change them in for ducats or ducats, whatever you want to call them, or ducats. And you can buy some of the best mods and weapons from Baruch. He also has a ton of other things that you might be interested in like skins and stuff but the most important things are primed mods other mods that you can't get other than from him and certain weapons that you can only get from him you want to keep them formless building that is the biggest reason i say this number five go to your navigation at the top right you want to go to alerts scroll down until you see nightmare this is something that i have been doing ever since i learned about two things there is only two things that make these worth it unless you don't already own every mod here let me just tell you right now every single one of these missions no matter what if you complete it will give you a semi rare mod the thing is there are two mods that you can get from running these missions that you can get you a lot of platinum and the two mods are blaze and hammer shot but it is only a one 0.01% chance that you will get it and it has to be on either Mercury, Venus, Earth, or Mars. If the mission is on any other planet, you will not have the chance of getting Blaze or Hammer Shot. Every planet is based on a rotation. Rotation A is all you have to worry about. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Blaze is selling for about 40 to 45 platinum right now. Hammer shot, on the other hand, is 90 to 120 platinum. Go for it, why not? Number six, invasion missions. Always check your invasions every day. Not just when you log in, but throughout the whole time you're playing. They can change. If you wanna know where they're at, go to your navigation, go up to the top right next to alerts, Click on invasions. This will show you how many invasions there are and what they give you. For instance, here is a good one. Say you don't have the blueprint for this, but you have everything else. You can easily do this. Thing is, you do have to do three missions as you can see right here at the bottom to be able to unlock it. Invasions are a great way of obtaining weapons that you don't already have, or you can also just obtain them to sell them or platinum. Another thing is if you need mutant gym mass, Eldrons, there's so many things that you can get from invasion missions. Sometimes they can even have Oricon Catalyst. Sometimes they can even have Formas. If you see something you need, you do them three missions. It'll send it to you in the mail as soon as it's over. When you are doing one of these, you have the chance of getting marked. And that basically means that a different faction that you are going against, say you're helping Corpus, the Grenier might come after you, which means they will basically hire an assassin like the stalker. It is a good way to get marked by different types of assassins, which will pop up in later missions to fight you, which can be fun, but they also drop weapon parts and blueprints. Okay, number seven, go to your navigation, go to the top right, not the last one, but go to sortie. For beginners, this might be extremely hard. Be aware, but always try. You never know. Or run pubs. The reason why I say do sorties every day, if you look over at the reward pool, it's very good. It is actually very good. My personal favorite things I like to get out of this is ribbon mods or three day boosters. I look at the items as in, can I grind them out myself? Or do I have to spend platinum on it? Take whatever you get and run with it. Okay, number eight. What you wanna do is go to your navigation again. Go over here where it just says normal. You want to change this from normal to still path. At the very top next to alerts, you want to click still path incursions. The reasons why you wanna do these every day only if they are quick and easy missions. 
I would do the ones that you can do the fastest, like assault. Very easy to do. Depends on how much time you have just for completing it. It could be a 30 second mission and you still get five steel essence. On top of that, obviously, if the mission lasts long enough, then you'll get an extra two steel essence. So you end up with seven plus an arcane. Stack that steel essence up for Teshin. All right, number nine. This again is definitely not for a beginner, but you can still do it if you have a railjack. This is something for railjack members or if you want to use the on crew. Just like in one of my latest videos when I talked about using on crew and how powerful on crew can be. This is how you get the on crew members. When you're in Fortuna, you want to fast travel to Ticker. Now you want to go to the very bottom where it says hire railjack crew members. Here you'll see some normal ones and then you might see some better ones. You will see some just ordinary normal ones but they can be very helpful. But if you have Command 9 in Railjack, you will see the Syndicate ones. Oh man, here's a perfect example for a good on-call crew. 150% critical chance with rifles. And it already has 4 combat and 1 endurance. But you do get 3 skill points, so you can technically make this a 4-4, which would not be bad at all. Either way, you might not be looking for on-call crew. If you're looking for any other Railjack member, check every single day. They change every day. Number 10 though, this is probably the most simple one that you can do, period. Any player can do this, anybody. Rank 1, 0, 20, 100, 1000, 400, it doesn't matter. Anybody can do this. You wanna know what it is? You really wanna know what it is? For instance, how do you think I got these beautiful ears? Hmm? Are you wondering? I'm sure a lot of you know, but if you don't know and you're a beginner, or you just never look at the market, go over here at the market. Check this every single day. Scroll through featured, see what they have. Go to popular, scroll through. Sometimes you will see, for instance, you'll see something like this, but it'll be for one credit. A lot of the times you will find items that are only one credit, basically meaning it's free. So you always want to check the market. You will find color palettes. You'll sometimes find skins. For instance, that's how I got these ears. And it's goofy, cute, you know, just to have fun with. But there's plenty of items that happen to show up in the shop that are literally worth one credit. It's free. Why not take it? I'm hoping to keep this kind of short for you guys, but I will most likely make a part two to this, as well as I'm going to be doing a weekly guide and a couple other ideas that I have up my sleeve. All thanks to you guys getting me out of my little bubble that I was stuck in. I was so scared to try different things. I was just stuck in one little bubble. I couldn't get out of it. You guys got me out of that bubble. I am now happy where I'm at. I could not tell you how long it's been since I could say that. So again, guys, I want to thank you so much. The Warframe community is literally the most beautiful thing I've ever been a part of. I hope it stays that way. I've never had any bad encounters while making these Warframe videos. I have gotten more interaction and I've learned more with just three Warframe videos than I have uploading well over a hundred funny moments videos. So I'm going to stick to doing this. I'm not going to only do Warframe like I've said before. I'm going to continue to do all types of videos, but Warframe? will be my number one priority. So guys, I want to go ahead and say again, thank you so much. And I really mean it. Thank you so much for the recent support. All the likes, all the comments, the numbers don't matter to me. The interaction with you guys was amazing. Just being able to learn from you guys, hearing people say thank you felt amazing. Just having communication with you guys was great. If you like this video guys, please leave a thumbs up. It's just polite. You don't have to do it though. If you have any other tips or tricks that people should be doing every single day, please, and I mean please, leave a comment. That will help me make the second video. And trust me, I'm not just gonna steal your words. I will credit you. And also, if you want to help, you can hit subscribe. Again, Warframe is not the only content that I do. But I will be doing a lot more. But if you don't want to subscribe because of that, I fully understand. I am not going to be upset. But if you want to help out and hit that subscribe button, please go ahead. I love it. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope some of this helped you guys. If it does, let me know. I love you guys. I'm out. Huh. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I
till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want.